Now I'm going to show an example of creating a multi-level device. So this is a device where you have multiple levels of connection points on here. This is common where you've got uh, multiple sockets. So I'm going to create a, a box for a symbol. I'm going to go into custom and construction and put a connection point at the top. I'm just using these predefined connection points. And I'm going to create that as an actual symbol. So I'm going to right click, choose block, and create that as a component. Now this device reference here, the uh, component ID is going to be the same one for all of these components, all these uh, bits that I'm going to create. So now I'm going to create a, um, a port on this or a set of connection points. I'm going to go to CP top. I'm going to zoom in a bit and just create it outside of this for the moment and I'll put down there five connection points. And I'm going to do uh, a copy of that, holding down control, and then I'm going to do CP bottom. I'm going to put a few here for the bottom connection point. So for each one of these, it needs some text to distinguish it from the main device. So we can go into draw text. I'll bring that across a little bit and we'll put in there X1 for the first. And we actually need to say that that's a component. And if I type L, I've got level separator, name and sorting. So I'll start with the name. So this is going to be the name of this. Change the grid a little bit so I can position it where exactly where I want it. Put it there. I'm going to change the next one to be X2. I'm going to label that one there. And then the last one, X3, which I'm going to put just a bit further down there. The next part is a separator to separate it on the wiring information. And I'm going to put that as being just a slash, forward slash. It's going to be hidden, so we don't actually need to see that. So it doesn't matter really where we put that. Next one is sorting. We need to know how these are sorted in a list. So we're just going to put these as one, two, and three. So I'm going to put a one there, two for the next one, and three for the next one. And that's it. Each of these now needs to be created. If I right click and go to block as a component, not in the list. So it doesn't need any parts information or separate elements in the list. It will appear in wireless. So it's going to be fine for that. So component not in lists. We we'll set it to have the same prefix D in this case. And you see it appears with D2X1. Now we actually need to make it the same as the actual main device on the page which was D1. And we just want it to show the X1. Auto means it combines the actual main ID and the level. And we'll combine it with the existing one. And you can see that that's getting there. I should have turned off the level sorting and also perhaps set these connection points to be sequential. Okay, now I should really have just copied that first one and done the same thing there, but I'm going to correct this again. D. I'm going to go into there and go to show, turn off level sorting, and I'm going to number these two, three, four, five. So this is that situation where you have the same terminal numbers several times in a device. And the final one, I'm going to go down to this bottom one. Right click, block, component not in list, D, and then finally double click, put this to show, level sorting off. I'm going to number these two, three, four, five, and OK, and just position that. A bit further down there. <coughs> I'm going to window around all those components, the outer one and the inner ones. Let me just double check. I did forget. I need to make those all the same. So all with the same ID, combine those. And the last step is just to keep them all together to right click and choose block as a group. So if I now double click, I can see the connection points for the first device. And I can set those. And if I double click on each of those ports or groups, I can see the information for those. So if I drop that onto a, a folder, I can drop that onto perhaps my standard symbols and call that multi-level device, ML device. And if I go back, place another one. And just to show how that would look, if I go to Control 2, we're drawing multi lines.
straight down. And if I just go straight into database under view wires, I can see that I've got D1 X3 connected to D2 X1. So you've got the distinction there. It's not just saying that it goes from D1 connection point 1 to D2 connection point 1. It's saying which part, which level.